all right guys welcome back today we're taking a look at the jada toys chester cheetah from the food mascots line so let's take a closer look at this packaging so as you can see this packaging is really eye-catching should be familiar to those familiar with this brand uh, this is actually pretty cool they have a magnetic flap usually only see it on high-end packaging but this is actually very affordable once you open it the figure in all its glory what look on the side there at the top does have the hook and cheetos on the side has artwork of the figure it's not easy being cheesy and on this side action figure facts one alternate head two hands one cheeto one bag collector quality paint a hundred percent collector quality sculpt a hundred percent points of articulation 20 so that sounds pretty healthy to me so let's unbox this and take a look at what we get inside all right guys so let's unbox this um you just cut the tape at the bottom and i have to admit i did open this a certain way um before but the audio didn't come out so i decided just to shoot it over again i know people like the unboxings and stuff so this is how the figure comes you can just slide the plastic tray out of here there's cheeto patterns all on the inside let's put these to the side and so the figure comes in here there was one of those uh, plastic bands like these holding the top tray down and there's two pieces of tape on either side so once you get the band and once you get the tape you can pull the top tray off and they have bigger on the inside um, there was two bands going across the hands and one going across the waist which I ended up cutting off before I realized that the uh, audio wasn't coming out Here we have the alternate head of course we'll take a closer look at all those in more detail he has those two grabby hands oh and one has cheeto dust there on it come on focus will focus yeah there you go does have the small bag of Cheetos does have a Cheeto as well and the figure himself looks really really nice so let's get rid of all this and we'll check out the figure in closer detail Man, I really have to wonder, do Jada toys ever miss? <laughs> Seems like everything they bring out is always uh, top notch. I'm not sure about the uh, the um, die cast cars and stuff that they do, but uh, I know they've been doing that for some time, but in the scope of uh, action figures, they've only been doing that for a few years now. Not that long. So... I think they started off with the Universal Monsters and then they went to some serial mascots and stuff and then they went to uh, Street Fighter, Mega Man and well Chester Cheetah as well now as part of their food mascots line so gotta say though the figure just looks really really fantastic 
We'll zoom in on those details shortly. Just to give you a 360. And there are some little blemishes here and there, but uh, barely visible with the naked eye. But we'll see them under the uh, under the zoomed lens here. As you can see, everything's really, really nicely sculpted. Shades have a nice sheen on it there. Simulate that sunglasses look. The nose does have a kind of rough texture on it. And the old teeth in there, nicely painted. The orange has a lot of uh, shading going on, or airbrushing or something. But, so you have the base orange and then you have like the tones going on around. And that is on all over the body. You can see it pretty well here. So like anywhere light would be hitting has lighter tones. Really, really nice. I have a little blemish right there, but I guess since he's a cheater, you can chalk it up to it being a spot. All these spots are nice and clean. A little blemish on the butt. Yeah. Can't win them all, I guess. Shoes. Look really nice as well. Painted very clean. And they actually did really little tabs on the bottom. So, honestly, the figure looks really, really nice. So, let's take a closer look at his um, articulation and then we'll take a look at his accessories. So let's run over articulation on this uh, figure. As you can see, yeah, I have his arms almost folded, which is actually pretty impressive. His uh, head has a ball joint at the top and at the, at the base of the neck. So he could look up quite a ridiculous amount. And he can also look down quite a fair amount. His shoulders do go up practically all the way only stopped by the head they do swivel the elbows have a swivel as well and they bend beyond 90 the wrist has a swivel and a hinge torso surprisingly enough which I thought was just going to be uh, a cut a swivel is actually a ball joint so you can actually get that much crunch that much arch the tail can swivel all the way around it's also on a hinge so that could go any which way The legs to kick forward about that much, kick back about that much, can do practically a full split, almost a full split there. The thigh does have cut, the knee does bend a little bit more than 90, also does have a cut, well a swivel. There's a swivel where the foot meets the boot. And on the boot itself, it goes, ankles could tilt forward that much, tilt back about that much, and then there's a rocker. So, the articulation on this is actually hella impressive. So now that we've taken a look at that, let's take a look at his accessories and try them out. So for his accessories, first I just wanted to show off the 
hands that come with him. Just hands. I don't know what you would call this gesture, but uh, I guess it's a cool guy pose. I had him just now, like he was in thought. Um, I did want to show off this though, the hands that actually has the Cheeto stain on it. So that's pretty cool that they included that. And the two hands that he does come with. The gripping hands that is one does have the Cheeto stain on it as well and the other one is clean Oops. So let's put those on them yeah pop in fairly easy I think that works out pretty well. Uh, his next accessory is the Cheeto itself. Really, really cool detail. If you're not careful, you might actually think it's real. And he can hold that in his hand. Just slide that in there. He holds it really well. Uh, the other accessory comes with very impressive small printing of this bag. It looks pretty much just like a miniature Cheetos bag with all the info and everything on the back. And you can slip that into the other gripping hand that he has. And he also holds that really well. <laughs> So you can see Chester is now happy that he has finally gotten the Cheetos so desperately wanted. And his last accessory is alternate head sculpt, which is the non-grinning, more serious face, which I actually kind of like too. I did forget to mention though on these, on both the heads, there are whiskers that are pliable. Feels almost like a brush bristle sort of uh, feel to them. So definitely not gonna break or anything. Yeah. Alright, I think he had his own there. So yeah. And that's it for his accessories. So, let's go to measurements and some size comparisons. So, Chester stands around five and a half inches tall. Here's how he looks next to a Jada Toys fireman. It's better than three there. Yeah, so he looks next to a bootleg Thousand Toys Master Chief. And he looks next to Necker's uh, Mirage Raphael. Now he looks next to Jada's Ryu. So he looks next to uh, Marvel Legends Black Widow. Old body. And of course, lastly, how he looks up against the Marvel Legends Ant-Man. In closing, another great figure by Jada. Um, I'll be pretty interested. <laughs> Jada is a very small company at the moment, but it surely would be nice to see them get their hands on some franchises like uh, Sonic. Because based on the 
proportions of uh, this Chester, I think they would be able to do some really nice Sonic figures. That'd be all the characters in that game. Well, the games. And also, if they could get their hands on Resident Evil, I think I would be in my glee. I think they could do some good, uh, affordable, yet uh, very posable and also well sculpted, well painted figures. There are other companies who don't um, particularly put much effort into their stuff and uh, and they still jack up the price so it's always impressive to see because this is only $24.99 around the same price as the Street Fighter figures and he's full on painted all over um, the sculpt is great it looks like the character is supposed to be and the articulation is just top notch to be honest there are some uh, issues, if I have to point them out, I would say that the the paint on the joints has already flaked off. So, thankfully they use the orange joint, so it's not too, uh, it's not going to be too much of a problem. But I guess after time, and after constantly moving it, it may get loose after time, but... It remains to be seen. Um, but yeah, I honestly hope and I kind of um, would like to see what they're going to do next with regards to food mascots. I wasn't really into the cereal guys, but um, I certainly saw this Chester and, and thought that's really cool. I wouldn't mind getting one of those. So I'd like to see what other characters they do in this line. So. Until next time guys, hope you all enjoyed the video and you all take care.